just 15 kilometers from Oxford, Europe has come together to try to harness one of the most basic forms of energy, the energy which drives the sun itself, nuclear fusion. The project is called JET, and the JET experiment has been achieving new records in fusion performance. Technology lies an almost inexhaustible energy source with built-in environmental and safety advantages. What underlies the dream is that the fuel which powers such fusion reactions derives from the elements found in water. It is the fusing together of the isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium which releases the energy of the fusion process. What lies at the heart of the jet experiment is the aim of producing a stable plasma, which is a very hot gas of particles as exists in the sun and stars. This will be used to generate energy. One approach that has gone a long way to proving itself is to constrain the plasma in a torus or donut shaped configuration. The plasma is held in place by powerful magnets. One problem is that it takes very little to destabilize the plasma. Creating and maintaining necessary plasma quality is a major scientific and technological challenge. The JET experiment is part of a long-term effort by Europe to harness its collective talent in fusion research. To start producing useful fusion, the scientists of tomorrow will need to reach an important milestone in managing a plasma. Containing a plasma is not enough. The temperature has to be high enough. It must be dense enough and the energy be kept in the plasma for long enough. This combination is called the triple product. If the triple product is large enough, the fusion reactions become self-sustaining. This key condition is called ignition. But it will be sufficient to produce a burning plasma short of ignition, so long as it produces enough excess energy. The sun, which provides us with our light and heat on Earth, is powered continuously by nuclear fusion. This means that it must contain all the processes necessary not only to create fusion, but to maintain it. Yet we know that the sun is not in a peaceful, steady state. So what are the clues to help us here on Earth to create our own tiny suns? To confine this uh, hot gas, you need a force. Uh, in the sun, which is a very successful uh, fusion reactor, the force is gravity. It is a very weak force and it takes huge distances to hold the, uh, the pressure of the, of the sun. And of course we have to do that on a device which is much smaller and to do that we need a much stronger force and we use the electromagnetic force. In a plasma the individual particles are propelled around by their energy or temperature and the electric forces which exist between all charged particles. Usually, when two ions collide, they bounce off like billiard balls. But if the energy is high enough, they may interact or fuse. New particles are produced. And energy. It is the emission of the small particles called neutrons which generally provide the measure of successful fusion. In the reaction between deuterium and tritium, one of the products of that reaction is an alpha particle. That particle carries away 20% of the energy that's released in each fusion reaction. Because the alpha particle has a positive electric charge, it is confined by the magnetic field of the system. The alpha particle gives up its energy to the deuterium and the tritium ions and the electrons, thereby maintaining the temperature. And so, in principle, the process can become self-sustaining. In a real power station, just one gram of deuterium and tritium as fuel would replace 10 million grams of coal or oil. Also, the daily waste from such a thousand megawatt plant would be just two kilograms of helium for a fusion plant 
compared to some 30 million kilograms of carbon dioxide, sulphur dioxide and other wastes from a fossil fuel plant. However history comes to place the jet experiment, one thing is sure. Without such steps into the unknown, humanity may never have a chance to benefit from a potentially limitless fuel, a fuel perhaps cast to the needs of a new millennium.